Well, good morning, sleepyheads. Wake up. It's Monday. Time to get your grind back on, y'all. Okay, you had your two days. Now we got to get a man five days. Look, okay, happy Monday, y'all. Look, thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can be reminded when I upload a video or when I go live. Like, share, and comment. That's it. That's all. That's it. Look, back on the grind. Look, and forgot how you leave the house, get all the way, halfway almost to the freeway entrance, and rem go put your hand like this to grab the coffee, and, and, and remember you done left it at home on the counter. <sighs> A fresh, look, I told myself I'm not going to let that, define my day you know sometimes stuff happen you be like now I'm, I'm about to have a messed up day as soon as you say that then you, it's gonna happen things are gonna start trickling down to happen so i told myself okay maybe i just didn't need it today okay you we have to change that child because i was just about to say I, I, my day about to be messed up okay look i didn't forget my lunch though <laughs> That's my, look, so I got my eggs. I already ate one. I made me two eggs and I already ate one. I'm eat. I'm eat this on my break time because I'm not really. It's like it, it satisfied me and I got my protein drink. And um, for lunch, I have a, I just op I just opened up a can of soup and poured it in the bowl because I don't have a can opener. But that's it. Just a can of soup. And one of them short cans of Campbell's soup. And um, this is a regular old lettuce and tomato salad. Look, a dry lunch. Look, but check this out, y'all. So I go to the gym. Because I, I told you I'm starting to walk and everything again. So I went on to use my little membership. I had to redo my little fingerprint, like I told y'all before. So I go to the gym and I get on the treadmill. Look, I'm on there five minutes looking around like I'm about to turn this thing off but I kept going I ended up doing 15 minutes but look here go the killer so I'm on a treadmill here come this little old skinny thing she thinks she she thinks she fat don't you hate when people are small and they think they're fat it's like just say you're not in shape or just say you 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 want to build more stamina or something. Don't say you're fat. Because if you're 120 pounds, that's not fat. And I know it's to each your zone. You know, everybody feels a certain way. But we have to watch what we say. Because that makes a person like me feel, so what you think I am? I mean, you're 120. Okay? And she just running on the treadmill like she running a marathon. And then her and her girlfriend sitting there talking about how they're going to go get Chinese food. You don't say that around a person, a fat, a real fat person. Okay. About, I, I started thinking about, they was talking about they was going to go get them some orange chicken and, you know, some, all this different stuff from Panda Express. After they work out, they're going to go get them a little lunch. And I'm thinking that's, that's, that's messed up. Okay, and I'm trying, so I put my ear, I had to put my earphones back on, because that, I was almost ready to go, look, tell them, look, can I, I'm going to roll with y'all, okay, how you go, I mean, really, and I mean, my cousin Sharita did that to me once, we was on the treadmill, because she has a, we have went to, um, one of her friends' house. This was a couple of years ago, years ago, we had went to her friend, one of her friend's apartment that had a, um, uh, you know how they have that gym so I was on the bike and she was on the treadmill and her other friend was doing something on the floor you know and she and my cousin was on the on the treadmill walking slow eating some potato salad I was like you know what I'm sick of you skinny bitches okay me and her friend was just talking mess to her like really you gonna be on the treadmill eating potato salad like for real and we sitting up here fat trying to Ah, but anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a quick review of um, of um, the finale for Lo Love After Lockup because I was supposed to do that last week and I didn't. So, quick review, and I never talked about Lizzie. Lizzie was in prison. She met Scott. Scott started writing to her. Lizzie 
was really about that money, okay? So she got $90,000 out of this man. When she got out, he was in debt, about to lose his house, lose everything, okay? She got out, he bought her a car, he did all these things to her, for her. He gives her her credit card, she goes and spends up two grand on some clothes for her and her other cellmate partner that got out okay he gets out she comes home he's so depressed he's laying in the bed under the covers and she's like scott what's wrong what's wrong with you you know what do you mean what's wrong you didn't broke the man okay you won't have sex with him he's not you're not sexually attracted to him okay now you're finding out that he has no money to give you okay so she gives him back the ring and tells him she just wants to be his friend he start crying because he she don't know the depth of what he really did how deep in debt he is okay he didn't bought her a nice car okay and so she was like well you know you just need to go because they was lit they was up in this hotel room that he was paying for separate rooms okay she told him to leave so he left he was leaving he packed his stuff up he was leaving so then she runs behind him what's going on where are you going like i don't understand what do you mean where is he going you didn't took the man's money he didn't bought you a car you didn't put him in debt okay you tell him to leave you don't want to have sex with him you don't want to do anything with him so he leaves and then you're going to say where are you going what's going on Okay, so now she all on Instagram and YouTube glorifying, okay, glorifying this whole situation. She didn't got her a YouTube channel. She glorifying this whole situation, okay. So then we talk about Megan, Megan and that situation um, with Megan. So him and her, Megan, they met up with the wife, okay. Sarah they finally met up at, at the little coffee bar at the hotel room Megan was like cool calm and collective okay she just finding out that the man is married okay Sarah's all upset because Megan's not mad she's like well she has an attitude well no she because you you because she's because she's african-american you want her to act the fool and, and hoopler and hobbling and, and cussing and all that and that's not what she's doing just because she's not hollering and screaming and going through these changes like you're going through Sarah doesn't mean she's not upset and she told Sarah, I am upset. He used me too. She said, I didn't know anything about you. Had I known about you, I wouldn't have went further with this. I'm not a homebreaker. Okay, I'm not. That's not what, what I'm about. He, I gave up my virginity to be with him. He deceived me too. I'm upset. She said, well, you act like you're not mad and you're being disrespectful and you're, you know, you have an attitude. She's like, I don't have an attitude. You come in here yelling at me like I knew all this. She's like, what do you want to know? Let's talk. What do you, what information do you want to know? You know, so the end for you. So they went and talked and all that. And, and they sat down and she told him. So Sarah told her, I seen you, you know, all your pictures that you, you had took. You, well, you guys went to all these different places and you did all this and you did all that. I'm just running through it real quick. So the end result is Megan, Sarah and, and, my, and he, Michael, they're still together. Megan is still in contact with him, but they're not, well, she says they're not intimate. They're just good friends. But she all on Instagram glorifying the whole We TV thing. She got all these, you know, almost 40,000 followers and so she went on a diet she's been exercising losing all this weight so now she's all on instagram glorifying this whole thing talking about well you guys anybody want to go live with me just come on and go live and we could talk about any prison thing you want to talk about okay and she you know and, and talking mess about sarah lizzie she, you know, now she's all on YouTube showing all the food that she cooked, all the prison dishes that she made. And every all her followers are like happy for her 
They're like, nobody sees the extent of what these people are doing. Now, they're like famous now. Nobody is looking at what they did. These people are looking at, now they're famous. They were on TV. There are so many Megans and Lizzie's out there. They're not on TV, but there's so many out there. They're all, now they're glorifying and making money off of these, this, this stuff they didn't did. You know, Lizzie all on here showing everybody how to make a prison dinner, how to make prison pie, how to make tamale out of potato chips, out of corn chips. Then we have Caitlyn. I didn't really talk about her much, but I talked about Caitlyn. Oh, poor Caitlyn. So her mother passes away. The dude that she was with, Matt, he goes back to jail. They say he stole a car, but the producers and all that won't let everybody know what really happened. He's still on drugs. He told her she go to visit him. All he care about is her getting him out of jail again. So she scrapes up all this money, gets him out of jail. He gets out of jail and leaves her, moves out of his mother's house. So now she got to move out. So now her mother passes away. Okay, she has, she don't have her mother no more. She gave up all this stuff for this man she did met in prison, who's still on drugs, who's used her up. Okay, now he done moved on and left her. Okay, when you get in these relationships with these men in prison, for one, you're lonely. Okay, because when you're seeking out a love for someone that's incarcerated, of course they're going to tell you everything that you want to hear. Okay, they're going to tell you everything that you want to hear. They got their game on. They got their A game on. They're trying to reel you in. They need phone calls. They need packages. They need money sent. They may need a place to stay when they get out. Look at Megan. Back on her. Okay, she gives up her virginity. She does all this stuff. It explodes, explodes, exploits herself on national TV. Glorifying the fact that she fell in, that she fell in love with a man in prison, gave up her virginity that she'd been saving since she was what? Okay, she's 20, 28, 29. Saving this precious thing that she could never get back. Your body is your temple. You can never get that back. Okay? So Sarah ended up having the second child by Michael. Okay, he all on YouTube, all on Instagram, glorifying about what he did with these two women. Okay, who else am I missing here? So Lizzie, okay, then broke this man. And the car that he bought, she's still driving. She's going to work in this car. Okay, she, she driving the car, got her apartment, making doing all this stuff on Instagram, YouTube, glorifying all this. Okay, I didn't talk about Marciano and Amanda. She's bisexual, okay? No, it's not Amanda. Amanda was the other woman. I can't even remember her name, okay? The other person. I'm sorry, you guys. I can't remember her name. Um, she's bisexual. She got out. She already had a son. Um, her and Marciano. Now, that's one I can say if you guys Google the show. That's one uh, relationship that kind of is going in the right direction. They actually got married. She's pregnant. She may have had the baby by now. I'm not for sure. But she's pregnant. May have had the baby. They got married. Their relationship is going fine. They're not glorifying anything. They're not on social media. Not those two. It was another couple. Um, they were that one there. Marciano. OK, then we have Lizzie. OK, then we have the Megan situation. Then we have Caitlin. I think that's it. Yeah. Caitlin is the one. I Oh, Tracy, Tracy and um, his name. Uh, what's his name? Clint. I feel sorry for Clint, but Clint and Tracy. Now, Tracy, then this is the one he was crying. OK, she done ran off with the rental car. OK, went back to jail. OK, on the finale, she gets out of jail. She loses all this weight. She's too skinny for him. He likes big girls. OK, but he gets she gets out. He picks her up. They move into their own place. They're doing OK. OK, 
she promises that she's going to stay off drugs. Now, this is the one that got married. It was late for her own wedding because she was out drugging, drinking, and drugging. She comes to her wedding two hours late. But on the finale, she gets out of jail. He picks her up. He said he's going to be by her side. He went and got a place. He got fired from his job. Now, remember I told you he was working for his ex-wife? She fired him. Okay, so his mother helped him get this place, his parents. Him and Tracy are living together. He's going to put her in a rehab and help. So that's one. Now that's so that's two relationships from this that seems to be going in the right direction. But we have to remember, Clinton is broken. Okay, he's a broken man. Okay, Tracy is broken okay so we're gonna see how long this lasts i'm good they, they they haven't did you know how they do that re reunion thing they haven't done that but tracy and 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 clint i want to see how that turns out marciano i can't remember the wife's name i'm sorry you guys but um she's bisexual the other woman was amanda I think the other woman was she's upset about it she still likes her but I'm gonna see we're gonna I'm gonna keep track of that one too but Megan I'm disgusted with Lizzie I'm disgusted with I'm but I do have to say this I'm glad to see Lizzie working she's in her place she's not on drugs and she's not using any other men right now she's living on her own but her thing is back on her she said the reason why she did him like that was because he lied to her he told her that he had all this money and come to find out he don't well he did have it but he spent it on you sending you money in prison okay getting you out trying to get you on your feet now that you see he's broke now you're trying to say that he's he lied to you so i'm disgusted with her but i am <coughs> excuse me i'm disgusted and a little bit happy for her it's kind of weird because she is out doing it on her own now okay and she's doing you know the right thing she's working she's doing the right thing but she got her a youtube channel showing everybody how to cook prison food and that's how her channel was growing and people are coming to her and she's she's really pretty and she has this way about her the way she speaks and all this this kind of cute dinginess type of thing you know the dingy cute thing you know and people are coming to her and they're and they're 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 not really looking at what she did they're looking at her as you know this famous person you know all these people are using what they did to get where they're going and i guess it is what it is you got to do what you have to do i guess so they put their stories on tv and now they're capitalizing off of it and not even realizing how it looks though how they put themselves out there you know and Reaching out to someone that's locked up in prison that can't give you anything. All they can do is give you jailhouse rock talk and just tell you the things that you need to hear. And then you got this high expectation of them when they get out. But you have to remember, they don't know you. They never lived with you. They never touched you, been with you in any kind of way. So they have to get to know you again. And you can't expect for somebody that's been locked up hella years to get out and tie their self down. They want to get out and, and, and breathe. And they got this high expectation, which I understand because they fed that into their mind of what they wanted to do. That show was a trip, you guys. That's just a rundown of the finale. The finale wasn't as good as I thought it would be. The ratings wasn't. The ratings were high because everybody was expecting something. And it's been a lot of talk that that finale wasn't what people expected. Okay? It wasn't. It really wasn't. The show was better than the finale. But anyway...
That's it. That's my rundown. So hopefully they have a reunion. But look at Megan on Instagram and go check out Lizzie. Okay, I don't know her last name. You may not even want to waste your time and look at her. But yeah, she's glorifying this we TV thing. Okay, this prison thing. She's capitalizing on it, y'all. You got to do what you got to do, I guess. I guess you got to do what you got to do. You got to scrape the bottom of the barrel. You got to keep scraping and scratching and climbing on out the barrel the best way you can. And this is their way of getting out of the barrel by exploiting their self. Okay? So, hey, to each his own. That's it. To each his own, y'all. We all, like I keep saying, we're the authors of, of, our, of, our, of our book. And if that's how they have to, you know, come out the barrel that way, then that's, hey, we all got a, we all got a story to tell and we all got to make it the best way we can make it. And we have to use the resources that we have and, hey, the tricks and the trades that we have, we have to use them, I guess. I guess that's, that's it, y'all. That's the rundown on, on Love After Lockup. The finale wasn't that good, but... We do got two, two stories out of it that may go okay. We got a marriage. We got two marriages out of it. And they're, and two, both of them, they're together. Tracy and, and Clint and Marciano and his woman, they together. So we'll see y'all. Well, that's, that's my take on it, y'all. I hope you guys catch it on, on demand and look at it. But you will see the finale wasn't all that. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to end this video with that. I hope you guys, look, watched it to the end. Look, okay, please, look. Thank you for clicking on the video and watching it to the end. <laughs> you guys, oh, guys, look, I'm sorry I didn't cook this weekend. I ate out, I ate something that didn't. It didn't sit well with me and I just didn't feel I just I didn't feel good. So I didn't cook anything this weekend. OK, I just been drink eating soup and drinking tea. That's it. You guys, I probably lost me a few little little bit of weight over the weekend because I ain't ate nothing. Look here, you guys. I'm going to end the video with that. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep your head up, chest out, nose level. Don't be walking around with your nose all stuck in the air. And I ain't going to tell you to stay sucker free. I ain't even going to tell you that. Because you already know that. So until the next video, peace.